Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Huey and I'm back for more Space Engineers. Yes, we are continuing on with our sort of tutorial series and I hope you've learned a thing or two along the way. I know I certainly have. Um, so I guess it, uh, it was more of a tutorial than I thought it would be because I've uh, learned a couple of things, especially with the new blocks. But anyway, let's keep going. So we were prepping to do some nickel mining, um, so we are a little bit short on that at the moment. Yeah, so, so we can build our uh, blast door at the front, uh, which is going to take us some time and a lot of steel plates and possibly a lot more. Iron mining. Um, blast door sections aren't cheap. Not as bad as, say, uh, heavy armor blocks, but yeah, they're still pretty pretty expensive. So I'd say I'm going to have to, when we get back, I'm going to have to rack up like 10,000 steel plates at least. If not more. <laughs> So we have to remember also that uh, the doorway is two blocks high, so I'm going to have to do at least three, block, three blocks deep. Um, and I can't remember if blast doors uh, become airtight <clears throat> only against other blast door sections, or if it'll work with... Um, up against normal armor blocks, but we'll find out soon enough. Let's, uh, oops, wrong one. All right, let's get into some nickel mining. Should be over here somewhere. Yep, over there. Dig down. Oh, we already hit the nickel. Okay. Let's back it up a bit. Make ourselves a bit of room to breathe. Should do or say? Oh, I think so. Quite a bit of nickel here, which is fortunate. Now I do know nickel is very heavy, so we'll have to be uh, very aware of that. Now, someone, uh, we have had a couple of name suggestions for the mining ship. One I quite like, but I'm just waiting on a few more to see if uh, people are interested in putting in their suggestions.
see how we're going. Yeah. Get a little bit more. Good enough. Beautiful. Oh, we're going the wrong way. I don't know why I started heading to the delivery point. It's like, no, I don't want to go that way. <laughs> Heading on home. <clears throat> and back into the grind. Well, not so much the grind. Back into the world. Come on. Well, more reverse thrusters. So we turn those off, make sure they're off to begin with. Close enough. Batteries off. Reactors off. And there we go. Should now be refining and making what we want it to make.
Why is it quiet? Huh? There it is. And there we go. <clears throat> Just sounded very quiet at first. Alright, so that's done. So now what we need are the steel plates. Excuse me. Um, well, we've got a few to start with, so that's good. Let's um, just, I don't know, pop those in there for now. <clears throat> And I'll grab these and uh, start producing. <clears throat> we need a lot of iron. <laughs> but we'll get started. Okay, so, yep, and G, we got blast doors, so B-L-A-S, just use that one, and uh, I think I want the concrete, yeah, so like that, should be fine. Okay, and these edges. Uh, so we want a bar store edge. No, we want it there. Like that. Yep. Like that. Pretty sure that'll be fine. Okay. It's gonna use up heaps. So you see how much that used up then? We've got two sections done. And now we gotta go get more. Unfortunately, it's not that big a door. The other door is going to be a different story. Okay, so we've got enough uh, sort of keep going. So they're all linked together. And they shouldn't collide with that. So that'll be good. So, again, let's flip it around. I hope that's right. We'll see. Fortunately, pistons don't clang as quite as bad as they used to. And then back to this section, yeah. So it can only go one way, which is good. So you see how it won't let you put it that way? So that's a good thing. steel plates. Let's 
So we just let it keep producing. So we can get this finished. Now we get some more. Uh, so we can get some from another source. Yeah, like there. Okay. So again, yeah, it's two sections high. So we're gonna to have to set a lower limit and an upper limit. <clears throat> so let's um, let's test it out to begin with. Okay. So pistons. So lower last door pistons. What is going on here? Hang on. Oh, we've already run out. Whatever. Um... Sure how high, how high that's gonna go. Let's um I should put a button on there, shouldn't I? Or a sensor. But we're just gonna test it out for now. So okay. should stop on its own. So, alright. So it stopped on its own. So, we'll give it an... It should tell you the current position. But it doesn't. Hang on. Let's try... 8... Perfect timing. Oh, that's almost perfect. Almost. I'm getting that little preview here, which is kind of cool. Some of these are close. Some of these are quite close. But anyway. So those are our blast doors. Um, yeah, we could even cover up these edge sections, but I'm not sure we need to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse it. Use that. There we go. Grab some more steel plates. Wish that thing was shut up, but anyway. <laughs> uh, it's that one, yep. Yeah. Eight. How's their hydrogen going? It's Alright, so these edges here, no, there, I want to go there, so we want them like that, ugh, look 
and down there. Like so. And then we want a corner. There we go. Corner inverted? No, we want a... Just a straight up, ordinary one. Awesome. Looks good to me. Okay. I thought we'd need way more, but you know what? Having fuel low. Oh, okay. Fuel critical. Having more than we need. It's not a bad thing. Um, and something else we're gonna need that I totally didn't factor in is hydrogen tanks. But I reckon I could put I could get away with putting those on the outside. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, steal some more steel. Just saw an idiot spell it. Like, this, this idiot I saw years ago was talk complaining about someone stealing his... his ideas, but he was like, he's gonna steal my ST... STE... STEEL. It's like, oh, he's going to make him stronger, is he? <laughs> Alright, let's reverse, see what happens. Okay, it's not bad. It's not bad. Ugh. Lose this for a little bit. Okay. Um. Alright, so let's do s uh, 7.9. And I want to get a lower limit. <clears throat> so it's about sort of there. Okay. So I'll try a lower limit of a meter. Yeah. Let's just try that. Oh, try seven point eight. So we reverse again, try 7.8. So lower limits too low, um, okay. Let's try two meters. Seems a bit strange, but okay. My control panel. It's probably going to be on the upper upper end of it, but. <clears throat> okay. 
Still a little bit too much. I mean, it's not bad, I just don't like it clipping through like that too much. A little bit is okay. Oops. Um, so, 7.7. .7. So what does two meters get us? Two meters minimum gets us to there. Almost spot on. Try 2.2. Probably should be using this one. Yeah. Maybe not. Oh, there we go. So yeah, it just takes a bit of, uh, can be a bit finicky. Oh, uh, you know what? Oh, I think that's, that's perfect. That's good enough for me. And I'm going to have to turn that one around. Damn it. Okay. I did it again, didn't I? <laughs> Went to the wrong one. Because you can see what I've done, can't you? Yeah. Ooh, almost. Actually... I think it'll be alright. Maybe a little speed bump? Let's try it um, up another one. Actually, before I do, let's, um, let's grind that away. Shit. <laughs> oh dear. Just that last little bit. Let's uh, put. I don't know. 100 back. There we go. Let's see. So we need eight. Yeah, there we go. I had it. Friggin' mucked it up, didn't I? There we go. That's better. Alright, so we raise it up another point. I'll try that. as well. We'll see, hang on, 7.6 and reverse. This is about as close as I'm gonna get it. Hang on. We'll try raising it up one more. I 
really should have put a control panel in or something, but... Still too much. Okay. It is still too much. Ah, uh, yeah, that's spot on. Yep, I can walk straight over that. That's spot on. At the bottom. And I'm just at about at a hundred yen again. So O2. Okay. Still too much. Alright, so what if I take it down to seven? I'm gonna try seven. Alright. So now the bottom edge is fine. So we weren't far off. So what about 7.3 then? Yep. <clears throat> I think that'll do it. Alright. So now, for some sensors. And I think I want to put sensors on the sides. So yes, I am going to muck around with sensors. I haven't done it for a while because I haven't trusted them. There's our door done. I really want to get rid of this. I, uh, how though? Grinder? Huh. Nah. I don't think you can do it with admin tools or anything like that. It's just going to be there forever. Oh well. So, we did the silly thing here and we, uh, did this in even numbers. So what I'm going to have to do is put uh, probably a sensor on the side somewhere. So, yeah. So a sensor. Uh, I think we'll do that in the black sci-fi. Cool. Um, so we need to start with interior plates. Okay. God damn you, game. There we go. Fixed. So we can at least place it. 
So we'll put one... Uh, I don't know what range they are. So should I put it here? Oh yeah, shoot two blocks away. Yeah, I'll put it two blocks away. So one there. And like I said, two blocks away. But I can't build anymore yet. What I can do is test out how this drives through it. So, let's give it a test. Not a worry in the world. Straight over. Almost. We do need a back camera for this. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. But let's go and put some stuff away and go iron mining. Yet again. Hurrah. Uh, actually, I'm going to put them up here. So, yep. Should have put my pisswasser away. Crouched to get that stuff in there, but that's alright. Oh, he ended up making a hundred of them. Cool. Uh, yeah, give me the. Alright, uh, give me three. And put that in there. Give me another three of those. Cool. Ultimate survival vehicle, except without the uh, survival kit. <clears throat> Almost ultimate. <laughs> so, let's get going. So, turn that on. That on. Just like a real spaceship you see in the movies. They've got to flick the switches and push the buttons and everything. What's better than immersion, folks? What's better? Um, and we also need to change our marker. So I don't want to fly 11 kilometers away again if I can help it. <clears throat> Where's that iron mine? It's over there. Yeah, sometimes I forget to check that, uh, and I've got to get into that habit because sometimes you have so much, so many materials, sort of backlogged in your refinery, that your ship doesn't fully empty. So yeah. Those are on, good. 
Have we got much iron left actually in here? Um, enough, I think. We do. <laughs> All right, we'll try and start with this then. can fall while I'm in here, I don't care. And look at that. See if I can push it again. Because it is lifting. So that's a, that's the funny thing. It's lifting, and it's lifting quite easily. I'm wondering if the extra batteries in the reactors were what I needed. find out. Let's push the limit. We're full up. But we're not moving. Hang on. We are slowly moving. Oh, so slowly. It's barely enough. <laughs> oh, okay, so maybe it was the... The lack of power. Did you watch? Okay, so we can... Yes, yeah, so if I go like that, it sinks. Okay. Nope, it wasn't that. <clears throat> so let's dump a few. Let's take some of those out. There is quite a bit in there, I must admit. So we'll take out two lots. Big boulder rolling down the hill. Making our own meteors. So if we take out 10k, will that be enough? Nearly 10k. Yeah, over 10k, sorry. 
Well, I had to test it. I know this much. It would work on Titan. Or Europa. Ooh, almost. It wanted to move. But I was definitely... Definitely too much. Send those down there. It's a shame. All this iron ore. I shouldn't have pushed it. But I want to get a an idea of exactly what my upper limit is. Okay, that's it. And it changes, like, it's almost instant. Look at this. It's like it just ticks over. It's like some D&D &D encumbrance. Or C CPRG encumbrance rule. You carry one pound too much and all of a sudden you're like, Oh, I'm coming. You know what I mean? But okay, so... No more than 20k in each drill. Along with everything else. Which is still pretty good. So, yeah, it's alright. Can't complain, I suppose. Trying to get this as straight as possible. Easier said than done. That'll do us. And should now be able to make, or should be able to get the uh, rest of the stuff that I wanted. I didn't put him into production. Oh, 
Wait, what is going on? Oh. That's what's going on. Freaking hell. Get that shit refined, will ya? God. Um. Production. All right, so uh, I've got these on the build planner. So go shift, middle mouse, production. So it's making all my stuff for me. That's fine. Alrighty, we finally get this done. What the hell? Uh, Sometimes, I mean, this uh, game is a. I have a love hate relationship with this game. <laughs> oh, man. Like, what are you doing to me? Alright, so, sensor. What we want to do is so we want to set up the actions <clears throat> and. Small ships on detect owner on detect friendly on yes detect players yes detect enemy off detect neutral off so the setup actions will be your storm inbound. Should I just do reverse? We'll try that to begin with. Anyway. Hey. I don't, I don't want to do it too close though, because it, it detects about there. So it might even have to be even closer. So anyway. So let's set up our actions here. Can we do it that? Hang on. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. So small ships. And reverse. So back up here. Hmm. Could be tricky. I might need to move that back a bit. But let's see. I think I do. Didn't 
him to detect me then. Yeah, I need to move him right back. That's fine. Oh, you know what? I want it open. Yeah, because I need to increase the range. Thank you. No. Right. How am I going to get this to work, though? Uh, all right, hang on. So I ha had it. What was it? Two, two blocks away. Two, three. Let's try three blocks away. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. Let's try this again. So, family off. Uh, we want small ships on, so hang on, oh, zero, zero, one, just the front, I think. Um, Wait, the block's like one, are supposed to be one meter? I'm not sure. But I'm gonna guess that they are, so... Two, three, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll try ten, just to... Yeah, we'll try... Ten. And that one will be the same. Alright, and set up actions. Let's see if I got this right. Um, groups, yeah. Now, will it detect me? I'm over here. No. But it will there. So I literally have to jump up if I want to. Okay, I I guess I could work with that. Question is, hmm. 
Maybe I should put it down there. Let's go across here. Yep, that works. That doesn't. So it needs to be a bit further. Hmm. So sensor. Let's rename that. Um. Garage. Outside. Sensor. <clears throat> Garage. Inside. Sensor. And. Turn those up to 12. Let's try 12. So we run over here. No. Try 15 then. I get, yeah, I really got no idea how Distance is really meant to be represented here. But okay, that works. So to make sure it doesn't no, it doesn't pick me up that side. That's good. That's good. That's good. Nice. me out. Why? Alright, let's try the vehicle. I went up in the wrong seat, didn't I? I'm actually thinking at the bottom of the ramp would be better. Bottom of the ramp would be better. It would totally be better. Yeah, it doesn't give you much time to, to get inside either. So, yeah, we're going to have to move that. So, it's all trial and error. So, probably at the bottom of this little section here. I don't want it too close. Going. Yep. So, let's see. Anyway. And that might work better. So, I still have to jump. Maybe I'll just put it here. How much room have I got back here? Hopefully enough. Ah. 
Alright, so it was... Yeah. Zero, zero, zero. Well, point one, but we can't do zero, so... And 15. Um, tech players, tech small ships. Off, off. Um, that was um, garage. Is it inside garage sensor? Oh. Datage, okay. There we go. Set up actions, groups. All is for a door. Yep. I'm always tempted to only make it vehicles and then have a switch or a button for pedestrians. We'll see. Uh, yeah, let's hop in. I will have to set up a uh, some sort of docking area, but anyway. So we can just wait down here now. And that's good enough. It's not too far away on the outside. So I can back in. <clears throat> Wait for it to open. Come on in. Oops. Come on. Can't see a damn thing. I've got plenty of room. Plenty of room. Yep. And it closes up. We did it. We did it. Yeah. Although I do think... I, I do think we need a switch. Or at least a separate sensor. Oh. Like right next to the door. Yeah, actually. So that's give me an idea. Vehicle sensor. Oops. Side garage. Oh crap. Mucked that up, didn't I? Totally mucked that up. I called them both inside garage sets. <laughs> okay, outside. Inside <clears throat> vehicle sensor, and we'll turn off air yeah, detect players. So 
So now it shouldn't. Nah. Doesn't go off. Alright, so. That means. I can put. For characters, I can put them right next to the doors. Which makes more sense. So, uh. Since, uh. Let's put a couple of those in there. Was for a friggin' door. <laughs> Alright, it's doing what I want it to do. Come on. There we go. So we do need the same range uh, and all that. So we'll put one over here. Um, six, wasn't it? Six and then nine. So we'll put one there. It doesn't look too bad. Okay. So this will be... Uh, like all the other ones. Hang on, sensor, garage inside, okay, so we'll call this garage inside a desk 3M, sensor, there we go, and that will be Garage outside pedestrian sensor and same thing again. So we're gonna go da 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 just to fifteen detect players. That's all we want. And then we only want friendly and owner. Let's make sure I got that right. So, distances are all correct on that, yes. Set up actions, groups, reverse. And that one. Groups, reverse. So, it should not. Detect the vehicle. <clears throat> so, alright. So, yep. So, let's have to walk up to the door. Okay. So, we'll try it from this side. Perfect. We walk through. Closes oh, behind us. Easy. And this one doesn't pick us up. 
Nice one. Maybe if you have to wait, you know. Maybe, I know there will be people going, but you have to wait for it. Why do you have it back there? <clears throat> Just deal with it. <laughs> like, what do you want me to say? Alrighty. So, next step is. Well. Continuing on with what we've got here. You know what? I think I found a place for... Uh, I thought I found a place for the container. But I didn't. Actually, I think I have. I think I have. <laughs> I think I have. I'm going to have to do some digging. So, let's get into that. But before we do... <clears throat> Let's top up my O2, uh, my uh, hydrogen with my O2 generator. Uh, da, 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 drill. Now this should work a lot better now. Yep, hell yeah. Actually, I think I found a place for the hydrogen tanks as well. Aha. Uh -huh. Where they won't get hit by meteors and, and uh, explode. So honestly, I... I really... I only think... I think I only need... It's not going to really be a refueling station, so I'm thinking I only need like two hydrogen tanks. If that. So, anyway. So dig this section out. And that gives me more room to make uh, creature comfort stuff. Which is a shame I have to leave till last, but you know, it is what it is. So what I'll do <clears throat> is I'll run a conveyor under here from the back. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> straight across here.
Uh, it's probably overdoing it a bit, but that's okay. Alright. So, conveyor. Conveyor. Yeah, right. And then, I don't know. Um, two. Oh, just give me that for now. I can at least get it started. So, let's get it started. Alright, so we want this. I want that. All good. And here. Yep. So we want to... Alright, so how big would a hydrogen tank be? Yeah, that's fine. Do I need to convey a junction there? I don't think I do, actually. Just thinking about it, I don't need it there. What I do need... What do I do with them? Ah. Is a tube. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Then go with straight one. I'm going to need more, actually. Totally going to need more. You can get away with like one large cargo container? I don't know. Don't know. Well, we'll see. So put another straight one there. Then we'll put a junction. Yep, junction there. Okay. And then... So that could be our container. I think we get away with one. Mm, uh, famous last words, but... We'll get away with one. I've made the executive decision. So... Container... Junction... Oh. Well, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Alright, change plans. So we okay. go that. And we might have to shove some crap under here. Oh, you know, yeah. That's totally what I'm going to do. That is totally what I'm going to do. Hell yes. So then I can... Alright. <clears throat> so I could put... Two, 
containers. Two containers here. Or one container here. And two hydrogen tanks. Storm just drill through here. Two hydrogen tanks would be fine. Okay. What? I gotta go look. Oh, they're coming straight at us. Gotta pay attention. Jesus Christ. What's wrong with you guys? Anyway. Yeah, so container is going to go here. I think we put that in first. Because I want to start transferring stuff. Uh, blah, blah, blah. We got any interior plates? Nope. Um, production. Interior plates. Interior plates. Let's start with a hundred. I just want to place it. <clears throat> so. We've got, uh, I got rid of that con uh, cargo container one, didn't I? Yes, I did, and I don't need that anymore, so let's go container. Might as well use that one, because it'll, I'm sure it'll come in handy at some point. So we'll go to the industrial green, and we want a large cargo container right there. Thanks. Then I can run some tubing or something. I can run something there. Or something. <laughs> oh. Now it's not empty. Give me that. Ta. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so what are you doing, Huey? Just like pay attention. <clears throat> and honestly, I could probably even put another cargo container in here. I'm not sure if I should. I don't think I'll need to, it's, it's an outpost. Perfect timing. That is our alarm going off. My alarm. There is our container, ladies and gentlemen. Our first large container! Hooray! So, really happy with uh, what we managed to accomplish so far today. Uh, I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but those blast doors are, can be really finicky. Although, now it's done, I am ecstatic. And what's kind of cool is, oh no, we've got to close the door. Get in there and close the door. There we go. 
That's done. Alright, so, uh, yeah, folks, that's, uh, enough from me for today. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you, uh, learned a few tips and tricks and, um, you know, just how finicky setting up blast doors can be. Although they are a lot of fun and they look really cool once you get them done. So I think they're well worth it, personally. Uh, if you can be bothered putting in the effort, of course. Anyway, uh, if you are liking the series so far, and particularly if you like the episode, do consider hitting that subscri subscribe button and dropping a like on the video as it all helps my channel. What would ex uh, help my channel just that little bit extra? So leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Anyway, this is Huey signing off. Until next time, take it easy. Bye for now.